Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Hey guys, it's the Awesome Chat. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. We are here in Hermitage, Pennsylvania, not in Pittsburgh, but uh, some people doing some really cool things here. We're going to be talking about with Kataki here. Uh, so, uh, anyways, check everything else out. Awesomecast.net. We got plenty of interviews. People doing awesome things. Tech companies, video game people, all kinds of fun stuff. Podcasters, just people doing awesome things in and around and outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, whoever we can get, have a chance to have an awesome chat with. Uh, subscribe to it on iTunes. Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and video versions on the Facebook and the uh, YouTube, and of course Facebook Live. Sometimes I think we're doing live right now. You can catch a little behind the scenes of everything going on uh, before we put the polish on everything. So with me is Kadaki Desai. Yes, here that's correct. at the E Center at Linden Point. That's correct. I got all the words. Yes, you I did. Got it it's, all. it's a little bit of a like a long. Thing. Now, I, I didn't know this existed. I'm from the greater area, just north of here in, in, in Greenville and Jamestown, PA, here, here in Mercer County. This is about uh, just over an hour north of Pittsburgh. Right. Uh, and, and, and this is, you know, not an area I thought of for, it, I, like, I, I, Ran away from the area. <laughs> I will fully admit I ran away to Pittsburgh to do cool technology things and everything like that. But I love, there is an e-center here. Yes. Can you tell me what you guys are doing up here? Absolutely. So uh, we're a business incubator that is based in Hermitage, as mm -hmm. Mike just mentioned. Uh, this really has been the, the vision of the city manager and the assistant manager. Both of them are Gary's, Gary Gula and Gary Hinkson. And they really, you know, had the, the vision for bringing something here that would encourage people, you know, first, like not to leave. Mm -hmm. So people such as yourself. And uh, then hopefully for others to come into this region, because like you said, this is there is not a lot or there was not a lot going on here. And that is obviously a big, uh, big problem for the city and for the region. So now we have this incubator, which is kind of this in the center of the Linden Point Technology Campus. And we have a whole bunch of, you know, we have a bunch of medical offices. We have the B Butler County Community College Campus on here. Uh, we have the East Center at Linden Point, which is a business incubator. And we have our uh, training and workforce development building. Mm -hmm. We have a new building coming up, which is a spec building. So we're actually looking for partners to come in and uh, occupy I, I that I see space. it's in yes, progress as I was is. pointing. I'm like, that wasn't here last time it's, I was here. It's crazy. It's, it, they literally started building it just a few months ago. Wow. And it's almost, it's pretty almost When were we ready. here? Like beginning of November, I think? We were for, here at the beginning of yes. November for Startup Weekend. Yeah. For Startup Weekend. And uh, yeah, it, it's really exciting because... You know, first it was like, hey, we're going to start up again in Hermitage. I'm like, wait, who's starting up in Hermitage, <laughs> right? And, and it was a little bit of kind of exposure to the whole idea too, right? Yes. Uh, can you talk a little bit about kind of rolling into that? So this is what we um, we believe in. So obviously I live in Pittsburgh. I've been part of the Pittsburgh startup community. Mm -hmm. And startup weekends are really... Um, you need to have a lot of momentum and you need to have community support for a startup weekend to be successful. Right. And Pittsburgh has hosted, you know, several startup weekends, but it's not, it, it didn't start easy. And so one of the things that we felt is that if we could get a startup weekend, a successful startup weekend in Hermitage, then we bring the community together. We bring everyone here together and everyone sees and takes notice to the fact that there are some very cool and talented people here. So we kind of started thinking about it even at the beginning of last year. So when I started, which was uh, December of 2015, at the beginning of 2016, so in January, we had a strategic planning meeting and we came up with a list of goals. And you know, one of the big things was how do we get more people to first know that we are here and two, to, be, to participate. Um, we believe that an incubator is not just about the companies that are here, they're here, they're important. But there is a lot about creating the ecosystem in the region. And if these companies want to thrive outside of the incubator, then they have to feel like they want to stay. Mm -hmm. And so the Startup Weekend was really a big part of that whole ecosystem creation. And so we reached out to the Startup Weekend team and uh, you know they said, well, we'd love it, but you have to get at least 35 participants. And you know at that time it was like, oh yeah, of course, 35, we'll manage that. As soon as we started the planning, we got everything ready. We were pretty ahead of schedule. Um, I think it was two weeks before the actual date, the first time we tried to do it. 
I think we had like six people signed up. <laughs> six people. That's really, I mean, after weeks and mm-hmm. probably even months of trying to convince people to come in. And so we decided, you know what, no, we're, we're going to do this right. We're going to try one more time. So the second time what we did, and we had about two months again. So the first date was in September and the second one was in November. Um, we actually went to all the colleges and high schools and events and just, just anything where there was a large gathering of people. And we talked to them about what Startup Weekend is, about the fact that you don't necessarily have to have an idea. You don't necessarily have to even start a company. You really want to have an interest in you know the whole startup world and what it means to be an entrepreneur. And anyway, that's kind of how we started. Uh, on the day off, we had our last sign-in. It was the 63rd person, and it was an energy-themed event. And I know Josh Lucas was telling me when he was here, Josh is, by the way, the um, director, executive director of uh, Work Hard Pittsburgh, Mm -hmm. and so great, great supporter. He's obviously the reason why you were here in the first place. But Josh told us that the last time there was a themed startup weekend in Pittsburgh, it was, I think he said it was 55 people. So he Mm -hmm. said, wow, you guys have really managed to get a lot of people. And it was amazing. You saw, you were there. It was a very diverse crowd. Our youngest participant was 12 years old. Our oldest participant was 68. And we had everyone in between. And we had a huge, like, you know, we had a ton of women. I Mm -hmm. I guess it was probably a 50-50 mix. And it, it just, the kind of ideas, the talent, it was incredible. We had participants, mentors, judges, all the way from, you know, on one side from Ohio, we had people from Philly, we had people from New York. Obviously, we had a whole bunch of people from Pittsburgh, from this region, from Erie. It was incredible. It was really, um, it was beyond our expectations. That's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. And to see that vibe up here is really cool. I mean, it seems like a, kind of a little bit of a micro version of what we talk about in Pittsburgh. Because there's a lot of, you know, it used to be you go to CMU and you go right. somewhere else, right? Right. Um, and, and you're, again, kind of looking at that, you know, people come up in, in the high schools here and then they go somewhere else for school or opportunities, right? right? But but it's cool to see, like, what does it take to, like, can, can you tell me a little bit of what, what the environment is kind of currently here in the Hermitage, greater Hermitage area, that includes like Sharon PA, which, mm-hmm. I mean, is, 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 a, is a town around industry, winner, that you know, people know the club commercials right. probably, I, don't, I think they may still run those, right? <laughs> um, you know, is, is here, uh, I guess Quaker Steak is another big uh, staple here. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's no stranger to, to new companies kind of building up. Right, and it's, and see, that's kind of why it's very interesting because this region has a really rich history in entrepreneurship. Yes. A lot of things came out of here, a lot of very cool ideas, a lot of very cool people, but then they started, you know, at some point, especially when the manufacturing industry took a, a hard hit, people started moving away. Right. And I think, and you know, you brought a really good, brought up a really good point about, you know, especially when you're in school and college and you're a student and you, you feel like there is nothing that you can do, you think, well, is obviously Pittsburgh is a big draw. Pittsburgh is right here. Pittsburgh is doing great things. And, you know, I am from Pittsburgh and I know how that, how that feels. But one of the very cool programs that we have going on here is uh, a program for high school students. It's the Entrepreneurship Academy program where we have about 10 high schools participating. And every year these students, they're all seniors, by the way, and uh, they do their morning classes. So they do all the, um, you know, whatever mandatory stuff that they have to do. And then for the afternoon, they're here for about two and a half hours from Monday to Thursday. And uh, Friday they take classes in, in BC3. It's a year-long intensive program where they come in without knowing anything about entrepreneurship and you know find some ideas based on not just local problems, but even global problems, mm-hmm. develop solutions, uh, build business plans, work together in teams. They don't even know each other when they come in. And by the end of the year, they're pitching in front of, in a competition and also in front of investors. So what we've done, this is our third year of doing this program. What we're trying to do is get these students excited about trying something on their own so they don't have to go anywhere. We also, they also go on field trips so they know what's in the region. Did you know that the largest ice cream cone manufacturer in the world is in Hermitage. That's right. Uh, my sister works for them. No way. <laughs> and like a lot of a lot of old friends from up here actually work with them. So Joy And they're cone. talking about expansion. Right. And, and you always, like, whenever you're, like, anywhere. I was in California, and I've seen, like, boxes of Joy Cone whenever there was, like, ice cream in some place, right? So absolutely. it's like, oh, absolutely. They're one of the hugest. So what happens with these high school students is they get a chance to really see what's going on here. Yeah. There is, uh, you know, one of this region's top 50 
tech companies, Autosoft mm -hmm. is in Hermitage. And so, um, or in this region, I don't know the exact, like it's like right here. But the point is that if, if you don't know what is here, you would always think that there is something better elsewhere. And what the Entrepreneurship Academy program is trying to do is get this, make the students aware of what is there and also give them the independence to think that they could do something on their own if there isn't. And so we've had, you know, our students come back as alumni. We had a big, our first alumni, um, kind of like a little party for Christmas. And we had more than 50% of the alumni show up, nice. which was amazing. They, they came from everywhere. I, I can't even get that at my high school reunion. <laughs> and so they were all here and uh, it, was, it was pretty incredible. We've had, you know, one of the alumni uh, was our, one of our first interns. And, you know, he just sent me an email today asking if there is an internship opportunity available for, available for this year. One of our alumni from our first cohort is Mark Rossi, who actually runs a company at our incubator. It's called Earthbound Crystals. He's 19. Mm -hmm. And last year, he crossed six digits in revenue halfway through the year. Nice. And so it is, it's amazing if, you know, if you really give the young people the, the tools that they need to keep you know, trying something new. And most of them do want to go to college, and which is great, but we want them to go to college knowing exactly what they're getting themselves into. Or if you're like Mark, who quit college in 15 days, mm -hmm. um, he loves what he's doing. And he really didn't think he would, I know he will go to college at some point in time, and he will do it on his own money. He probably would not need, you know, any kind of loan. Mm -hmm. But the whole idea is he will do it because he wants to. He'll do it for the right reasons. And after he's run a successful business. So that's, that's <laughs> kind of uh, uh, usually the other way around, isn't it? Yes, so it, yes. and it is interesting because there is a lot of like, you know, ideas of, you know, maybe college isn't, you know, required for everything. If you have a little bit of, you know, uh, uh, self-startedness, yes. I guess, to it. And I think, I think a lot of us have that when we're younger. Mm -hmm. I think we get very um, jaded in how society treats, you know, people coming up with new ideas, the fact that failure is such a big thing. I mean, I don't know why we always tell pe teach or talk or, you know, uh, praise success when really failure is the thing that's more constant. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you might succeed, maybe. But really, everyone is going to fail, and yet we don't talk as much about failure. Mm -hmm. So I and think and dealing with that, and, and it's like it, like yes. like and, and dealing with it, like 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 you know, hey, you're gonna be awesome and do this and da 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 da. It was like, no, you're gonna fail, and you're gonna have to deal with that. Right. And this is how you deal with that. This should is how be you do should it. be the conversation. And I think that's kind of what the students are learning at the Entrepreneurship Academy. They feel very. They feel very confident about themselves. They feel like they're learning, they're changing, they're being treated as adults because that's kind of what happens right after they leave high school and go into college. Mm -hmm. And uh, they feel like they have a say and their opinion matters. And I think that's really important. Absolutely. So giving that, and, and that's why it doesn't matter where we are because high school students across the nation have that talent and they have mm -hmm. that, well, not everyone, but many, many of them and I really, truly believe that if we get them excited from um, this age, then they will try to do something different. And we truly are going to, in a, you know, be kind of the innovation capital of the world. And that's another thing, because as we're seeing things kind of kind of change here, I think, you know, the last couple of years have kind of presented new opportunities that we've kind of decentralized opportunity too. like somebody in a small town, as mm -hmm. long as they have some decent Internet and can get on there and, and, and talk with people um, can really, you know, have an opportunity yeah. and, 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 and it's cool to have places like this that will kind of promote that, right? Absolutely. Uh, we, we're also seeing that, you know, the world is becoming smaller because of, very, of that very same reason. So Mark, who I just told you about, some of his biggest clients are actually, most of his clients are international. So he sells to Australia, Canada, Singapore, UK, India, and I don't even know how many national clients he has, but he's sitting here in Hermitage. <laughs> And, you know, shipping all his stuff across the world. Yeah. Like, how cool is that? Yeah, that's great. That's great. So talk a little bit about, you know, you have you have plenty of companies kind of in residence here. Um, talk about, like, what, you know, you guys look for kind of in, in companies that come in. You know, mm -hmm. what, what, are, what are some cool things that are happening here? Sure. And, and kind of the support system that, that you guys are kind of working on around that. Sure. So currently we're based or set up as a mixed-use incubator, which mm -hmm. means that we have all kinds of companies. We're not specific to a certain field. So, you know, we have tech, we have lifestyle, we have nonprofit, we have manufacturing. Uh, really across the board. Now, 
one of our plans or goals for this year is we, we're, pl we're going to have a competition called VIA eCenter or the Venture Investment Accelerator eCenter where the winning team will actually be getting $25,000 in seed funding and they will come in and actually accelerate in a period of 20 weeks at the eCenter and then they have to stay in Mercer County mm -hmm. in the region. We're trying to see if the accelerator model works better for us. And so this is a test for, you know, figuring out if that's what we should be doing. So currently as an incubator, we've, you know, we have, like I said, all kinds of companies and we don't really know, we don't really know what the strength of this region is. I think every region has a strength. You're still looking for that talent and, yes. and seeing what that is. What that is and where we should focus and how we should really pull that in because Youngstown has the additive manufacturing uh, focus. Mm -hmm. And so it took them some time to figure that out. Mm -hmm. But really, it, it takes a while to figure out what the core um, strengths or talents in your com in your in this region are and you don't have something that's been kind of ingrained for a while like right. like a CMU or something that right. that is like obviously like AI is a big thing coming right. out of Pittsburgh right now and a lot of these kind of computer technologies and so and yeah there's bigger places more of that right. but uh, but still like you, you don't have that core uh, we are the place that has the the hospital or right. the school that specializes in X, Y, and Z, right? Exactly. Like it, you, you, you don't. So you have to figure out what kind of comes out of the woodwork. Exactly, so. exactly. And so, and that's why the board has really been, you know, they know they're mostly from this region. We also mm -hmm. have board members from Pittsburgh and Erie, but they're kind of helping us, you know, find the right path and figure out what it is that we want to do and, and where we want to focus. Then understand the region and people right. that understand this is how things work right. here. What can exactly. we translate over? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because we, like I said, we have a very rich, very rich heritage of entrepreneurship and we need to use that and, you know, really make that our foundation before we, we can't just say, oh, you work, Hermitage is going to be the next robotics hub. That's not, I don't think that's going to work. But is it, is it going to be manufacturing? Is it going to be uh, tech? Because we have a bunch of tech companies. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be advanced manufacturing? I don't know. I don't know what that is. That's awesome. <laughs> so if people are maybe want to learn about it, they're out of the region or in the greater region, how do they find out more about the eCenter? So you can find us at www.eCenter. E C E N T R Linden Point L I N D E N P O I N T E dot com. Don't forget the E. Don't forget the E. I keep doing that. <laughs> so eCenter Linden Point dot com and or you can find us on Facebook with the same name or we're on Twitter at eCenter L P um, and we're on LinkedIn. We're pretty much on all the social media stuff except Snapchat. Oh, well, well, it's uh, kind of yeah, it, I mean, you could have some fun with that, but you know. <laughs> filters like I made something at the e-center I don't know and of course the uh, energy-based uh, startup weekend that that happened right here in this room actually uh, is up on I believe that's on the work hard Pittsburgh uh, YouTube page you can see what ideas are coming out of uh, uh, Hermitage I almost said Pittsburgh Hermitage <laughs> I'm used to saying Pittsburgh it's, right. it's, it's yes, great it's you know a great problem to have right um, but that's over there on the work hard PGH uh, YouTube page you can see what kind of ideas are coming out here what kind of what is the entrepreneurial spirit coming out of geez Mercer County County, you know, I, things I never thought I'd get to put together in a sentence. I love this. I love this. Uh, it gives me more reasons to come back home. <laughs> so Absolutely. Thank you, Kadaki, for joining us. Uh, and please check them out and check out all the rest of the interviews at awesomecast.net. Subscribe to the show wherever you like to get your podcast. And please, if you like this stuff, uh, you can contribute to us on patreon.com slash awesomecast. Become an become a executive producer of the show. And we have some special, uh, really geeky content we've been starting to share over there as well. Patreon.com slash awesome guest. Thank you to my awesome guest. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.